Hi, first grade. My name is Caroline Kipp from Citizenship Academy, and I am so excited to be back teaching first grade skills unit three, lesson two. Let's go over our objectives for today. We're going to use narrative language to describe characters, events, and facts from King Log and King Crane. We're going to read and understand decodable text in King Log and King Crane. We're going to segment and blend phonemes during dictation to form one syllable words. We're going to read and write the tricky word because, and we're going to plan a narrative retelling of a fiction text, read independently with title, characters, and some details retelling the plot, the use of temporal words to signal event order, and some sense of closure. And we're going to orally produce sounds represented by spellings. Okay, so remember in lesson one, we learned about a new sound, the oo sound, that is spelled O-O, but makes one sound, oo. So I am going to go through some words with the oo sound, and we're going to count how many total sounds each word has. And remember that O-O, the oo sound, only makes one sound. So our first word is moon. Let's count how many sounds moon has. We have m, oo, n, moon. That's three sounds, m, oo, n. Number two, we have Zoom. So we have z, u, m, zoom. Three sounds. Our next word is spoon. Let's see. S, p, u, n. That's four sounds. S, p, u, n. All right, number four. Spook. Let's see. S, p, u, k. Spook. That has four sounds. Number five. This one looks tricky. Let's see. Z, u. Only two sounds, right? Because remember, u only makes one sound. Number six. Smooth. M, U, th. Four sounds. Smooth has six letters, but only four sounds. Number seven, boots. B, U, T, S. Boots has four sounds. Number eight, noon. N, U, N. Three sounds in noon. Number nine, we're almost done. Room. Er, u, m. Room has three sounds. Last one. Broom. B, er, u, m. Broom has four sounds. Nice job. You guys worked very hard on that. All right, now we are going to look at the tricky word because. I like apples because they are crunchy. Now, when we look at the word because, it doesn't spell out like it sounds when we say it. So the tricky parts are the E, sound like E, like when we have two E's next to each other, and the A-U sounds like AW, and the S-E sounds like Z. So when we sound out the tricky word because, we just have to remember that it sounds like B, E, K. Ah, uh, z, because. 
Okay, so yesterday in lesson one, we read King Log and King Crane. Today, we're going to reread the story and talk about the writing process we will use to summarize the story. So we're going to turn those listening ears all the way up and listen carefully for the who, what, where, and why and the sequence of events that tells us what happened in the story. All right, King Log and King Crane. Once the frog said, we wish we had a king. We need a king. We must have a king. The frog spoke to the gods. They said, we ask you, the gods, to send us a king. The frogs are fools, said the gods. As a joke, let us send them a big log to be their king. The gods got a big log and let it drop. The log fell in the pond and made a big splash. The frogs were scared of the log. They said, King Log is strong. We must hide from him in the grass. There's the gods laughing as they throw King Log into the pond. As time went by, the frogs came to see that King Log was tame. He did not bite. He did not run. He just sat there. King Log is not a strong king, said one frog. I wish we had a strong king. I do too. We must have a strong king. The frog spoke to the gods. They said, we ask you, the gods, to send us a strong king and send him soon. This time the gods sent a crane to be king of Frogland. King Crane was not like King Frog, King Log. He did not just sit there. He ran fast on his long legs and he ate lots of the frogs. Yikes, there he is eating the frogs. The frogs were sad. King Crane is a bad king, they said. We miss King Log. He was a fine king. We made a bad trade. The frogs spoke to the gods. They said, we ask you, the gods, to send us back King Log. The gods were mad. Fools, they said. You said you must have a strong king. We sent you one. He is yours to keep. The end we listened to King Log and King Crane, we listened for the who, where, once, next, and in the end to tell us what happened in the story in the right sequence. So let's fill out this planning template using information from King Log and King Crane. The name of the tale is King Log and King Crane was the title of our fable. Now, what about the who part of our planning template? Who was in this story? We had the gods, the frogs, King Log, and King Crane. Right, King Log, King Crane, the gods, and the frogs. About where? Where did this story take place? What was the setting? It was in a pond in Frogland. So down here, we want to write what happened in the story. So we start with once there was blank, next in the tale, and then at the end of the tale. So we want to tell the story in order. So what happened first in the story? What were the frogs sitting around the pond saying? 
Once there were frogs in a pond that asked the gods for a strong king. So what happened next? What did the gods do when the frogs asked for a strong king? Let's see. Next in the tale, the gods sent the frogs King Log and King Crane. The frogs did not like King Log and asked for a new king. All right, so the frogs got King Log. They didn't like King Log. So then the gods said, okay, we'll send you a different god. What did they get next? Remember? The frogs were afraid of King Crane, and the gods made the frogs keep King Crane as their king. So let's read through this one more time. The name of the tale was King Log and King Crane, who the characters in the story were King Log, King Crane, the gods, and the frogs. Where did this story take place? The setting was in a pond in Frogland. And when we're telling the story, we want to tell it in order. So we start in the beginning. Once there were frogs in a pond that asked the gods for a strong king. Next in the tale, the gods sent the frogs King Log and King Crane. The frogs did not like King Log and asked for a new king. At the end of the tale, the frogs were afraid of King Crane. The gods made the frogs keep King Crane as their king. Well, that was so much fun, guys. I can't wait to see you for lesson three next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.